So today, I'm going to be talking about C. White of Brighton sketchbooks, and these are probably the first sketchbooks that I bought when I got back into art, sort of four years ago. They uh, seem to be pretty popular. Uh, a couple of artists who I'm an avid fan of, uh, John Warburton and um, Graham LaFox Reynard on Instagram use these, and uh, they were the people that probably switched me on to the brand. Uh, C. White to do lots of different stationary stuff, and they do, but this is their watercolour book range, which I believe they call their travel journal. Now I've got some specs here because I can't remember anything ever. Um, the, the journals are all about, well they're all 60 pages, so that's 30 sheets. Um, black hardback cover and 100% uh, vegan product, so I presume that this is a vinyl and not leather. Um, 200 GSM paper, acid free, uh, and they they are not finished, which is slightly textured, ever so slightly textured, which I would say is probably bob, bob on that there, there isn't um, they're not really rough enough to do a lot of dry brush technique, uh, and actually the more I use paper, the more I lean towards rougher paper actually, but uh, the more I, I rougher sketchbooks. Construction wise, I would say they're really really robust. I mean, I've had. I must have gone through five or six of these little A6 ones, and they are really solid. You can just pop them straight in your pocket. They're really good. Um, they have, in terms of their features, it's pretty standard. I mean, there is a, a little pocket. I tend to keep a business card in. Um, usually just like any moleskin sketchbook, and then they have a little uh, wraparound thing, which is quite useful if you're sketching in the wind, because you can actually use it over one end and then hold the other end and it stops it being blown over but they're great I tend to use them as you can see from some of the examples as uh, either a, a small landscape on one side or like a panoramic type approach that never shows up very well on Instagram because of the format that you're limited to but this particular sketchbook that I have in my hand now uh, was the one I used for Boat Toba which is a little uh, event that happens in October where there is 30 days worth of um, boat challenges, so boat drawing challenges for people who love drawing boats and it, it does just annoy people who don't like drawing boats so for that reason alone it's worth doing. Uh, so that's something that I post every day in October and you can join in the challenges or do one, do none, do them all, put them all in a sketchbook which is what I did here and it's brilliant, I cherish this, it's lovely. I'll show you some examples of my boat over daubs. But that's the smallest one they do, Sea White of Brighton. The biggest one they do is a, uh, so they do an A4 and they do a landscape one. Um, they don't do a portrait one, but they do an A5 portrait. But it doesn't matter because there's your portrait, you turn it on that side. So again, I tend to use this for panoramas or just single page pieces. The paper is really good. I find it brilliant for watercolour, absolutely fine. The thickness, 200 GSM is about the minimum you'd want to go for a watercolour pad. Um, you occasionally get a bleed through if you go into the gutter between the pages and you put a lot of liquid in there, you will see that it will bleed through. Um, you can obviously seeing this pad because this one got absolutely so this is ink I've been using for a lot of this literally pouring it into the gutter there and as you can see if you go further on in the book it just oh it stops there so it just tend to go through those little holes obviously uh, and it gets into the binding so that is something you will find if you do big splashy panoramas is you will occasionally get some leak through so in terms of quality, I would say they're up there with any, with most of the manufacturers. You know, they're just as good as moleskins or whatever. Um, and I just really like the paper. Yeah, so that's it really. There's not a lot to say about them. Again, sketchbooks are sketchbooks. What you want is something that's reasonably well made, nice paper, uh, acid free, and um, a good size for you. Sea Whites of Brighton is a UK company, um, and it's nice to get stuff from UK companies when I can. Uh, so yeah. I hope you found this useful and if you have any questions just you know put them in the comments and uh, please like and subscribe because it helps the channel and yeah if you're still awake I'll see you next time <laughs> bye bye